Hi, I'm John Kirkman. I'm a broadcaster and a music journalist based in the UK uh, with something to tell you about. Now, wonderful box set, Arthur Brown's Kingdom Come. Now, for those of you who don't know, this kind of period of time, there's a few albums that came out in the 70s between uh, the crazy world of Arthur Brown and, of course, the dance album, which was about 1975. The band Kingdom Come were on Polydor Records and they made quite a few albums on here in the box. Gives you an idea. I mean, Arthur was very, very into putting on a show. Um, I think you knew that from Fire, didn't you? When he used to set fire to that ashtray on his head. And it was an ashtray because I asked him once. It was an ashtray that was stuck on with a leather, with a leather strap. Steady. Um, here's the booklet, which will take you through all the different things. Now, the interesting thing about Kingdom Come, and here are the albums, all reproduced. That one is Kingdom Come, Galactic Zoo Dossier, Journey. I really like that album. I think that's the that was the first one for me. I missed the first two. Um, that's an excellent album. And then there's the Sessions and things like that. There's a lot in this box set, I must say, that's never been heard before. But the, the interesting thing about Kingdom Come is that they actually used a drum machine. And it was, of course, in those days, in sort of 70, 71, 72, 73, um, drum machines were really not that reliable. And they do gigs, and sometimes when you're in a sweaty club, it got very sweaty and damp and, and Sometimes the damp got into the drum machine and uh, Arthur Brown said sometimes it'd go a bit haywire and it would carry on. So he said, we'd have to do this. So we were playing along to the drum machine. So he said, sometimes the songs would go on slightly longer than we originally thought because the drum machine just went a bit haywire or sometimes it wouldn't work. And then sometimes it would work and then halfway through conk out. Um, but it was an interesting period for the band because they really were at the cutting edge at that time. There weren't very many bands, I don't think, who were using uh, drum machines, solely drum machines, and using them live. I mean, you could put the early drum machines in the same box as a Mellotron. Great in the studio, not so great on the road because they were sort of open to all sorts of atmospheric um, conditions. So if you're in a hot, sweaty club or a venue, you'd have to go in and tune up a Mellotron. And then when the people came into the audience, because the temperature would have risen, you'd have to go and tune it again. These things on here, the drum machine on here, they were not very reliable. Great in the studio, but not so good <laughs> in the live situation. Uh, they're not so bad, the live things in here, because they are sessions of the BBC and things like that. So that's not too bad. But uh, it was an interesting period for uh, Arthur Brown. Very proggy, actually. Uh, nothing like the crazy world of Arthur Brown, which was very r and b uh, in parts. This is very much more experimental and uh, as I said, I mean, shorter bands like Tangerine Dream and, and Kraftwerk and probably Can and a lot of those German bands, there weren't many, many artists using a drum machine in uh, their live situations. So uh, I, I, he has to be congratulated for that. This covers the entire Kingdom Come career. There's a list on the back of what you get. And um, for a box set, it, it's pretty complete. I mean, it's probably everything that Kingdom Come ever did. And I'd really like to see the next album in, in the next phase of Arthur's career, Dance, come out because he almost had a hit single, bless him. Uh, he was also in the Who's film, Tommy. You may remember him as the, the rather scary preacher in uh, Tommy. But he's a lovely guy, nothing like um, his stage persona which I have to be honest is pretty wild, but he does have an amazing voice. And uh, as I said, this has the complete Kingdom Come discography in there and loads of extras as well. So certainly an album that uh, if you're a Kingdom Come, well, not so much Kingdom Come, an Arthur Brown fan, you will want to hear. And it's the first time all of these have been out again for a long time. I mean, I used to have, I used to have all three of the albums on vinyl back in the day. As I said, my favourite one is Journey, but they're all worthwhile and they're all worth having. And there's some great material on here. And if you ever went to see them live, you'll know what I'm talking about regarding the drum machine. Um, well, you probably got more for your money, I suppose. You shouldn't complain. 
But uh, yeah, it's all laid out in the book and uh, certainly a very, very good reissue. I must say it's through Cherry Red and uh, the address is running along the bottom. All you've got to do is go to cherryred.co.uk and put into the um, search button Kingdom Come or Arthur Brown and you will find this there for your perusal in terms of tracks and also an opportunity to purchase said box set. And I hope you do. It's a really, really good set. I'm showing my age, I know, but I, I, I mean, I loved albums like these back in the day. And it's great to have them digitized and also put on CD, remix, remastered, etc. And it's wonderful to have them all collected in a box as well. It's a rather fine little clamshell box. And uh, yeah, a great, little, uh, a great little package if you're a fan of early 70s prog and experimental music.